With the calendar turning over to 2022 and the Nintendo Switch still selling like crazy, it's growing more and more likely that online services for 3DS and Wii U games will end sooner rather than later. Before that fateful day, I decided to go online with a variety of different 3DS games to see if anyone's still actually playing them in 2022. A quick note before I begin, this is about online matchmaking only. If you're looking for people to play with without rolling the dice online, you should search for Discord servers and subreddits for the specific game you plan on playing. This video is just focused on what games still have an active player base in public lobbies when I entered them on Sunday, January 2nd. Obviously, I won't be able to cover every single 3DS game with online multiplayer capabilities, so if there's any game you own that is still active or one that you can confirm is completely inactive, let everyone know in the comments. Who knows, you might just find someone to play with. Let's start in the most obvious place, Mario Kart 7. The best-selling game on the system, are people still playing it online over 10 years later? Well, with a timer in hand, I went for an online race and... I was matched super quickly! Mario Kart's a little different because you might have to spectate a race even when you enter a match, waiting for the next race to start. Which is definitely a bit annoying, but the results with Mario Kart once I got into a game were absolutely astounding. Before starting filming this video, I was expecting to have to play the game at several different times of day to get an accurate reading, but nope. Mario Kart 7 Online is almost instantaneous when it comes to a public race. On top of that, the game ran perfectly smoothly with zero issues during my brief time online. I even got a second place finish on my second race using default parts. Yes, be amazed at my skill. For Super Smash Bros. 3DS, the results weren't as great. When I went to play my first match in Floor Fun, someone dropped out while I was waiting, then someone new came in and it took over two minutes for the battle to start. Then my opponent chose to do nothing the entire battle and just danced around the stage. I ended up winning in sudden death. The second match was Team Smash. I nearly gave up after six minutes, but someone joined at the last second and we finally started battling 30 seconds later. There was noticeable lag throughout the match, and I ended up losing. In my defense, it's been a long time since I played Smash, and I've always been an offense-only player, so no defense here. The third match was for Glory Smash. It only took 90 seconds to start, but it ended up being 1 versus 1, so not exactly a full match there. And my fourth attempt at a game was 1v1 for Glory, and I had a game instantly. The fifth and final match I tested was for Glory Team Smash, and there's a recurring theme here with Smash Brothers. If you want to play 1v1 online, there's still a huge opportunity, but if you want to fight more than one person, good luck and I hope you're patient. I waited for over 4 minutes in this lobby and nobody even showed up. I'm sure my low ranking as a brand new player wasn't helpful, but still, you're definitely going to have to wait a long time if you ever want to fight a full 2v2 match online in any mode in public matchmaking it would seem, so that is definitely unfortunate. Up next, we have Zelda Triforce Heroes, a game that everyone says you have to play with other humans instead of the AI. I decided to give it a try more than six years after launch. Just like Mario Kart 7, I was pleasantly surprised. The first player showed up right away, and a second wasn't too far behind. You need to have a full team of three to play, and we stuck together for the full journey, which lasted about 10 minutes. Teamwork is essential in Triforce Heroes, and aside from some annoying emote overusage, we worked well together even without voice chat. I didn't even bother doing a second go-around with Triforce Heroes because the results were so good. It's pretty clear, people are still playing it online in 2022. I would advise anyone interested in playing the game to do it as soon as possible, because who knows how much longer people will still be playing it, or how long the servers will stay online. Kid Icarus Uprising is probably the best 3DS game you haven't played, and you probably didn't know it had a multiplayer mode. Well, guess what? People are still playing it in 2022, sort of. I'll be honest, I have no idea what was going on in the battle or if we even won, but it is still active. Like Mario Kart 7, if people are already in a game, you have to wait for the battle to end so the new one can start, so that definitely factored into the wait time. If my timing was slightly better when I entered matchmaking though, it could have been almost instantaneous, and the game ran perfectly smoothly all the way through. I went with free-for-all next, and there was a good news-bad news situation there. 
The good news, it only took a minute to enter a game. The bad news, it was all bots except maybe one player. By having bots as the default, it guarantees you'll have people to play against in multiplayer. They just might not be actual people. So I don't think I can accurately judge free for all since you're never guaranteed to fight against other humans online. So I decided to do one final test in light versus dark and the bot thing happened again. Instead of facing off against human opponents, the game gave up searching after one minute and filled it up with bots, so unless you get lucky and queue up at the right time, odds are you'll face off against those bots. But I mean, that's not the worst thing ever, right? At least you can still play the multiplayer even if it is just you against a bunch of bots. For the next game, I decided to dial things all the way back to the 3DS's launch in 2011 and play Super Street Fighter 4 online. My expectations were low, to say the least, and if you're wondering, I think Dizzy Chicks was the previous owner because I bought the game used, so I am not Dizzy Chicks, I am Trust Your Pilot. Dizzy Chicks was the previous owner. Anyways, to my surprise, I found a game in about 30 seconds. To make sure it wasn't a fluke, I tried another quick match online after waiting for a few minutes to pass. It took about a minute to find a second game, and I'm pretty sure I matched against the same opponent, and that's when I realized I never hit record on the first two games. My bad. To give Street Fighter a fair shot, I went looking for a custom match with the default settings using my region only instead of worldwide. There were no active lobbies to join, but within a minute of creating my own, somebody joined. Are people actually still playing this game? And better yet, they were on my skill level and I won. I did a custom match again, and it took 90 seconds the second time, but somebody completely new joined up. This is more surprising than that Guardians of the Galaxy game actually being good. Unfortunately, my opponent was so much better than I was and I barely even got any hits in, but I decided to stop playing there because if you were wondering, yes, people are still playing Street Fighter 3DS online in 2022. And to me, that is absolutely crazy. Of course, I couldn't make a video like this without focusing on the Pokemon games. I'll start with the first games on 3DS, X and Y. There's a whole bunch of different lobbies I could have entered, and I tried as many as I could. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem as though anyone's playing in public. I tried every free battle option in the battle spot, and the results were all the same. After 90 seconds, the game would give me a message saying no opponent could be found. I went to do a raiding battle, but with the Pokemon Global Link shut down in early 2020, that's just not possible. My only other option for online play was to select battle from the online menu, challenge a random person, and hope they accepted. As you can imagine, nobody accepted my battle request. Basically, no one's actively playing Pokemon X Online anymore, and I can't blame them because it's been a long time and there's been a lot of Pokemon games between now and then. But what about Alpha Sapphire? It's newer-ish, and... Bingo! It took mere seconds to match with someone, and that someone who was clearly prepared for a fight, mega evolving straight away and destroying my entire team with legendaries, though I did manage to get a KO in there somewhere. There was lag during the battle, but I think that had more to do with my original 3DS than the actual internet connection. It was the same story with double battles. In less than 10 seconds I had an opponent, a different opponent, and I even won the battle somehow. And during that battle somebody actually requested to trade with me. There was no reason to keep going. Clearly people were still playing Alpha Sapphire and probably Omega Ruby online in 2022, and that is just awesome. Pokemon Sun was next, I went to the battle spot yet again and waited, and continued to wait for a single free battle. The previous owner wasn't too far in the game so my team would get destroyed regardless. Unfortunately, both formats with special Pokemon allowed were timeouts, but when I switched to special Pokemon being banned, I was so surprised that I found an opponent I forgot to stop the clock. As expected, my pitiful team got destroyed, and I am sorry for not enlarging the bottom screen sooner, I'm still getting used to playing a 3DS on a computer screen. There's definitely a bit of uh, kinks to work out here. I tried again in a doubles free battle with special Pokemon banned and ended up timing out. Then I tried my luck in single battle with special Pokemon banned again and I timed out again. So while you can still find a match online if you're lucky, it would appear there aren't more than a few people still playing Pokemon Sun online at a time. Again, not surprising because the Ultra versions do exist. Now, this is probably the part in the video where I should have tried Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but here's the thing, I am super lazy. All the other Pokemon games had saves from previous owners and I didn't have to do anything to hop online. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon were wiped by their original owners before I bought them, and instead of spending however long it takes to access online features, I just decided to call the day with Pokemon games online on 3DS. 
If you know that Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are still active, or if they're completely empty, let everyone know in the comments, it will definitely be a big help. Before I fully called it quits, I decided to test out a free-to-play 3DS game online, and that was Steel Diver Sub Wars. Yes, they made a sequel to Steel Diver. I went with a random battle against players from around the world, and no lie, after 20 seconds, someone showed up. Another 20 seconds passed and someone else showed up, and after 60 seconds, there were four other people in the lobby. I was super duper surprised. We got into a game not long after, with bots filling the remaining slots. I had no idea what I was doing the entire time, but if you were curious, yes, people are still playing Steel Diver Sub Wars online, so if you've ever been curious about a sub versus sub multiplayer game on 3DS, now is your chance to play one. And that was it. My assessment? Yes, people are still actively playing some 3DS games online in 2022. Pokemon X and Y and Sun and Moon seem to be fairly bare, but Alpha Sapphire was quite popular. I never did try the Ultra Pokemon games, but I think it's safe to say you'll find battles, since they are the most recent on 3DS. But maybe people prefer Mega Evolution over Z-Moves, and that's why the remakes are still populated. Who knows? Naturally, the best game by far was Mario Kart 7, both in terms of players and stability, and Smash Bros. was a letdown, but if you don't mind playing 1v1, it seems to be okay. Zelda Triforce Heroes and Street Fighter 4 were definitely major surprises, and I can't even believe how quickly I found matches in them. So, based on these results, if there's a 3DS game you own and haven't gone online with it in a long time, give it a shot. And remember that this is just for public lobbies. If you want to find players to play against online at a specific time, that's what Discord and Reddit are for. Good luck, and have fun.